All right, looks like we've got the uh, 64. Yep. Team number 64, and Kirk is uh -huh. either down there with him. Or? Bill, we've entered the rookie section. Ah, yes. This it's is Lori, uh, the Reno, Kirk. Nevada team, oh. the Academy of Arts, Career, and Technology. Oh, and uh, sorry about that, Lori. We didn't come to you fast enough with the Academy. Here comes one of our first rookie of the day, the Academy of Arts, Career, and Tech out of I Nevada. Wow. Here they are on the backside already, Rick. I didn't get a chance to start my clock. Once again, we're always uh, always thrilled to see a rookie team come out and, and surprise everyone. Coming through, all right, bouncing through that first set Looks there. Looks like the Academy of Reno, Nevada might be the team to do it this year. Looks like a pretty sturdy Boom, design. Boom, popped right over, real strong, real strong. That's a full metal aluminum uh, from what I can tell. So our 10th uh, graders, Terry Van Tassel and Elizabeth Nicholas uh, driving the buggy today. Coming to us from Reno. Reno, Nevada, bet on that. <laughs> Let's see, they've gone up the back, uh, seems to have lost track of them up the back stretch. Coming up now to the hairpin turn. There they are. This team is really proud of their buggy, Bill. They yeah, said they worked moving. for four months, them. seven days a week, uh, on their weekends as well. It wasn't just uh, during school hours. They, uh, they are... Uh, they're here to win, Bill. I think we I found this you. year's we found this year's Jupiter School. Look at it. They're at a minute thirty, already coming down uh, at the top of the crater, at the top of the the, uh, the lunar terrain here, about to enter the the uh, lunar area across the uh, LEM. If they can sustain this pace, they're on track to. Uh... <laughs> I don't. Let, let's not. Let's not jinx them. Let's not jinx them. <laughs> let's not jinx them. We do that we've been doing that all. Let's see yeah. if they can keep going though. They got a nice looking, sturdy design though. Once again, a back-to-back -back design for their drivers. Coming all the way from Nevada. Do we know if they, they spent uh, three days in a car? They did not actually drive. They were like, <laughs> no, no. But uh, terrific effort so far. We'll see if they can sustain it through the rest of the race. Just passing two minutes now and about to exit the crater. Oh, excuse me, the lunar surface there. Not bad. Coming around the wall. Our one, our one blind spot here. But the, thankfully, there's no there's uh, no obstacles there. Still maintaining a lot of speed coming across those obstacles, Bill. And you can tell they're winded just a little bit. They're starting to slow down a bit. <coughs> At 2:37, the split time would suggest that they may not catch Utah, but that's okay. This is. This is a high school team. Fantastic correct? time this for a, a rookie for a rookie high school team, Bill. High school team, couple of sophomores. All right, crossing under the Saturn One B. You see him there, cutting under, about to approach the three minute mark. There's that last long slog. They made this smart is the part, Bill. They, their their entire buggy is based on off road uh, uh, bicycles, off road racing vehicles, mm -hmm. and it looks like they, uh, they they didn't fall into the usual rookie mistakes. And it looks like we have got a new contender here at the Great Moon Buggy Race. At least, at least for the high school ranks. Okay, they just, they're not going to clip the uh, the fastest race team, the University of Utah. They just passed three, entering 325 right now, cresting the top of the hill, all the way back down towards the orbiter. Not sure if, uh, if Lori is there and if she's able to see them. I am here, Bill. All right, you go ahead and take it from here then. All right, they've got three more obstacles to cross. Ooh, that was a close one. That, that next to last obstacle is a killer. And there they come to cross the finish line. How do you guys feel? I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I, I can feel, feel like them and they don't feel good. <laughs> I wish I didn't feel them. Uh, this is all about being a rookie. This is all about designing something to break distance away and bringing it someplace, delivering it, and making it work and making it work well. And these terms, teams did that and did that well. So, uh, the high school was team number 64, the Academy of Arts, yes. Career, and Technology in, uh, from Nevada. Yes. Woo!